19 months, let's go. Hoggers, lunch trays.
Hey guys, I'm a professional streamer. Uh, my name is um, Booty. Um, uh, <laughs> Hello! <laughs> it's my first stream. <laughs> Sorry for getting you killed the other day. Night, how'd you get me killed? You got me killed? Hey, World's dumbest. Alex. Sorry for getting you killed hey, the other yo, night. Hey, yo. How'd you get me killed? I'm still living, aren't I? Whirp. Time for the wee wall. Gummy cake. 19 whole months. Hell yeah. I remember yeah. the first stream I came in on. What you was had it? just recovered from your gallbladder surgery and oh. it was your first stream back from that break. Oh, was it? Feels was that when I was in the other room now, with the big Alex Pikachu Klein. in the background? That was a, that was that was a while ago. Baby plastic. Hey yo, thank you for the prime. But does Alex know the joke Peanut told you? Alex, shut the fuck up. You're welcome. How's everybody doing this fine evening? Um, I know we're much later than we normally go live because I was doing um, hired or fired on Sam was a stream, uh, hosted by Sam and uh, Nandre with um, Booty Swagger, where we sw we swapped for the night. We swap for the night, but uh, but I am back. It is me. I still have my button up, so I'm just wearing you know a men's shirt, but it's fine. Um, hey, Alex and chat. Hey, Alex and chat. The queen. Let's go play Madison. What's Congrats Madison? On getting the job. I'm sick today. Same. Great. I'm always sick, bro. You know. Um, but I got the job. I got hired. You know. It is what it is. Here, what the fuck? It's so nice. Thank you. It's um, all smoke and mirrors. Um, half my hair is ponytail in the back, so I didn't have to do it. Um, so most of what you're seeing is just fake news. Um, yeah, you know. Uh, my IRL name is Madison. Wow, okay, my classes start Monday and I'm ready to just start crying over them already. Oh no, that's exciting. It's exciting to do classes, honestly. New Twitter bio. I should make one or I have one. That's smart, to be honest. That's what I'm saying. That's queen shit. You're just efficient. That's what I'm saying. Um, Madison was a time travel horror game thingy. Okay, okay. Nobody can guess my IRL na name. Uh, is it uh, Steven or Luke? Um, I think it's definitely one of those. Oh, I feel that. Thick hair problems. Yep, too much hair. Uh, I just want to have this fucking baby already. Oh my god. Are you due to have it already? Like, is your due date passed yet? No idea. I'm a mysterious figure. You're a decrepit figure, apparently. Um, but yeah. So, what am I doing for stream? That's a great fucking question. I have no idea. I wasn't going to go live today because I was doing uh, the thing on Sandwich's stream. But um, it was pretty short. So, I was like, I guess I could do a stream because I know that with TwitchCon coming up this weekend, I know that I'm probably going to miss a stream. Maybe more. I don't know. Months. It's finally October, Alex Bloom. Hey, yo. Uh, due date is in a is a week from today, but being induced Tuesday morning. Whoa, Sue, Sue, my queen, my my magic, the gathering queen. How are you, Sue, Sue? Uh, just cut it out like they do in the House of Dragons. I don't watch that shit. Okay, and spoilers, maybe I don't know. Um, you know, hundred percent stream right, please. Listen, uh, I stream so much for you. Okay, I do more streams a week than I even should be doing. I added one for you guys because I'm stupid. Because I'm a whole lot of stupid, okay? I only want to stream three days a week, honestly. But I can't decide if I want to take away Mondays or Wednesdays. So I'm just doing all of them. More streams, though? Beat them up? Bro, I will literally take a page out of your name and beat you the fuck up. More I don't give a shit. Too. Um, But yeah, I don't have any content for today. So we're just going to chat and vibe and chill. Um, And you guys can give me your money. Um. Thank you. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's a men's button up that I wore uh, in my interview today for Hired or Fired. Uh, you're taking away all of them. I take them all. I'm taking all of them. I'm just not going to stream any day. How's the clay making pin going? Um, terrible. I, I didn't do much with them, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't great. I should I should paint them. I should paint them. Uh, we're having our Alex, sixth child hello, this Alex, December. Hug Alex heart. You have five kids. You have five kids. Oh, my God. I work till six, so I can always catch the later streams. Oh, okay, Kenneth. When is the next horror game stream? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, I'm not sure. Been almost even 11 months, by the way. Almost a year. Oh my god. Modest Pumpkin, thank you for 30 months. Plug in Baby, thank you for the 10 months. Ham and Cheese Salami, thank you for the 9 months. Pete Plus, thank you again for the Prime. Brand new subscriber. Uh, Goldman Cake, thank you for the 19 months. World Dumbest, thank you for the 19 months. Um, did I see somebody had two years? Hello, Koala, thank you for the two years. Heck yeah, bro. 24 months. Where's Halloumi? Sleeping? I don't know. Fuck, I'm so hungry. I drank a lot. So, if I'm already tipsy, that's, uh, blame, blame, uh, booty. <laughs> Maybe some more on the 12-hour stream? Yeah, probably. So, then went wrong. The baby did not come out at, 12, uh, at nine months? Oh, no. Thank you for the one year! Alex, something went wrong. Crying Seamus. The baby didn't come yeah. out at nine months. Mm. That's, that sounds like a you problem. I can carry this burden. Yeah, Every maybe deal with pain. that. Mm. One year, Pog. Yeah, that's, that's, that sounds like a you problem. Waifu. Kitties always be sleeping. Yep. Yep. Order some eats. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about getting some chipotle. Because I'm pretty much just eating rice and meat right now. You know? You know? Today, I started with a um, protein uh, drink. Um, and I didn't drink the whole thing. And that's and then I drank alcohol. So that's all I've ingested so far today. Um, so I'm a little tipsy and a little sleepy. So either we One turn it the fuck up, or uh, I have a nap. So, hey Alex, I'm currently at work on a 16-hour shift. Oh my god. I need to not complain that I'm streaming right now when people are sitting here with a 16-hour shift. That's fucking stupid. Now let's turn it up. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday, you know? You know, Produce Shakes be making my tum-tum due to gritty. <laughs> I don't know why, but that sentence just sounds like protein shakes be making my tum tum do the gritty. It just sounds so like, you know, or get some food in you. Yeah, maybe you cringy drink. I don't have anything ready to do a cringy drink. Maybe I could do a cringy drink. Is there videos? I doubt that we have videos because I think we use them. Do you plan on, on moving Wubby's to stream. YouTube after the 50 50 switch? Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense for people as small as me, to be totally honest. I would, but I already get 50 50 allegedly in a video game so so it is what it is you know i think there's a few left let me see let me see here bruv what am i looking at why booty why you send this what? with no context uh oh for cringe vids <laughs> Okay, you know what? Nar, nar, nar. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me see. Is there any cringe vids? I see my asshole cringe. How many do I have? There are only two. Yeah, no, I don't have enough to do it. Luxie's on the couch forever. Please Luxie send rent money. On the couch forever. Oh, you got a Luxie ham? That's actually cool. Couch on the couch forever. Yeah, um, yeah, Luxie is a freeloader. That's, uh, you know, Luxie's their own plush. I, I, I'm not responsible. I didn't give birth to this motherfucker. You adopted Luxie as a child in your home. So, that's kind of on you, you know. Uh, but if you want to send me more money, uh, I will accept that. Uh, if they're as horrible as the last time, it won't take much. I know, but if I only have two videos, that's, that's not, that's, that's, that's gonna go by too quickly. Love you, Mama. Get that Chipotle in your lesson three. Yeah, maybe we'll get some Chipotle. Maybe I should get a little bit of Chipotle. Uh, Discord DMs, I sent the wrong link. Oh! Hey, Brendan! Thank you so much for buying something from the shop! Where is that? Where is that alert? Shop alerts. Oh my god. When you guys buy stuff from the shop, it makes me so giddy. Um, okay, let me see. Discord DMs. My bad, this one should work. No one knows the joke that you're making. He just keeps linking me my, Maya's socials and saying, here, yeah, I got you on some cringe bits. <laughs> you're just insulting our friend, Booty. Okay, you're just insulting. You know? Okay, hold on. Yeah, no, I only have two. Uh, is that the Wubby Cholo shirt? Probably. 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 Um... Did you see my stream when she was muted for 30 minutes straight? 30 minutes straight? No, she was not. I'm dying. Stop. Just stop. 
but I love Maya. I'm dying. I'm dying. I love Maya, by the way. I love Maya, by the way. <sighs> I'm relying on stream to keep me sane while I fold three baskets of laundry. Bro, you fold your laundry. Uh, you're a better person than I, honestly. Um, does your child pay rent? They should, honestly. At least get the extra subs for Prime. Hell yeah, if you got a Prime, it's free for you. Money for me. Also, Darian. Darian. Your name reminds me of a durian. Those, those stinky fruits. Alex Cozy. You know, the big ones, the big spiky ones that apparently smell like horrid, but they could be cooked good, you know? You know what I'm saying? Bro, no way. On God. I fold my socks and pair them in left and right foot pairs. That's the only thing I'll do when it comes to folding laundry. I will take socks and I'll fold them together. But that's it. That's it. That's, that's just like a boop, And it's kind of satisfying. Because then you just throw them, you know? Have the two socks. Boop, and you just a little boop, You know what I mean? What? What? What do you mean? Ten whatever. What? What? I enjoy your your her house hunting streams. Somebody has house hunting streams. Always skip the socks. Do you ever do media shares on your stream? Uh, no. I don't have enough viewers to do uh, media shares on my stream. Um, also my media share has been broken for like years. Um. Bah, tiny woman's socks don't count. Mm, some do. They, 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 you make a ball out of them. Always skip the socks. Always. Really? They're the only fun ones to do. Just a little pop, pop. Um, did you guys, did you guys like all the new emotes, by the way? It has my new hair. I guess I should probably get my old ones changed to my new hair somehow. But I'll figure that out. Just piles of socks sorted by brand. You sort them by brand and piles? Let's look up rich houses and apartments in New York and make fun of them. Bro. Uh, oh, hey, Breezy. Oh, hey there. 45 months. Long time. Sheesh. Oh, Have fun at TwitchCon. We'll do. 45 Panzo. months is a long time. I want a Panzo so bad. Have fun so at TwitchCon. Bad. Love, Guys, I Breezy. I just want a Panzo so bad. There we go. They're so well done. Oh, my socks just get stuffed in the drawer and I fold clothes like a madman. Look at all the new emotes. So ugly. Alex Pym is so gross. I hate it. Benzo cooking stream? I don't trust myself to deep fry anything is the problem. I don't think it's cooked all the way. This gorilla glue, glue be hitting this gorilla. What does that even mean? Is there a TwitchCon meetup? I don't believe so, no. It's just too much. The Toronto one was a lot. Uh, I got really, really drunk. I was looking through the footage today to send to Macau for the Canada vlog. And I was like, oh my God, the video of me talking, I was so drunk. Oh my God. It was so bad. Yeah, yeah. Emo claimed by Torpedo Falcon, Alex yeah. Falcon. Laura and the Alex Falcon, yeah. Torpedo Falcon picked that one. Womp, 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 Clay. Why are you womp whopping? TwitchCon is already so crazy busy. Bro, TwitchCon, I can't believe it's this week. I'm just overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. I think I'm gonna be going to, uh, to a couple conventions this month. Um, with MetaZoo, by the way. So if anyone are going to, um, I'm not going to say where I'm going yet, actually. Man, I want a calzone. Bro, but a Panzerati is so much better. wonder if I could, like, order, but then it would already be baked. If I ordered a baked calzone and I just deep fry it myself, you know what I mean? Man, I'm so hungry. You should make your scat singing as a sound alert. So sad that you came to Canada, but I'm all the way in Alberta. Oh, no. Calzone will not be tolerated. Do not turn my pizza inside out. I like inside out pizza, but I like it deep fried also. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Same. Thanks for the 411. Has some ice cream for from BurgerFi on my break, and now I can't stop barking out my ass. Send help. What the fuck does that mean? First of all, what the fuck's BurgerFi? And what the fuck you mean you're barking out your ass? Like you're Oh, like you're shitting? You're, you're farting? Barking out my ass. Oh, you're farting. Wow. Any advice for someone who wants to move across the country? Um, things are just things. You can get more of them, honestly. It's easier to move with nothing than it is to actually have to move things. The way I look at it, is a Panzerati basically just an empanada, but Italian? I don't know what an empanada is, so I don't know. Is that a firehouse sub? Stop talking about food. I'm trying to not eat trash. Um, it's a calzone, but fried. That's what a Panzerati is. Barking out my ass on my roommate's door. Yeah. But they're my things. Yeah. See, I would just pack a couple boxes of like sentimental things and then put those together and leave them at a parent's house. 
and then sell and get rid of everything else and start anew. You know what I mean? God damn. You don't know what an empanada is? I do not. Do you like boba? Not really. I like I like fruit pearls that explode, but I hate tapioca boba. Hate it. Peasant! Thank you, peasant. You are no longer a peasant. You have been upgraded to just Eli. Appreciate the tier one. Every time I eat, my butt goes skeet skeet. <laughs> Stop. Fried calzone is basically an empanada then? Wait, what? Is it empanada? But what's in it? What's inside of it? You guys watch Edge Runners yet? No. If he gets tier three, he becomes King Eli. So true. I'm so hungry. Ah, y'all are making me so hungry too. Anything, dog. Ugh. Did you watch the whole video? No, wrong stream. When you realize you'd when you realize you'd have to move across the country, was it hard for you at first, or was it an easy decision? Um, it was a very rushed decision. It was one of those things where um. To be, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I told you guys this before. Um, on my way over here, I was going back and forth to the States so often that I got stopped at customs on the way from Canada to the United States when I was coming for TwitchCon uh, in 2019. And they stopped me because they thought that I was illegally working here. And that I was uh, going back and forth because I was secretly trying to work. Which was not the case. I was just coming because all of my friends and everyone that I knew was uh, in the States. And so I was going to conventions all the time. So they stopped me at, at, at customs and they almost didn't let me go through. So when I got here for TwitchCon, I was really scared that if I went back, then they wouldn't let me back in again. Um, so I just stayed, and then the pandemic hit. So it was kind of like I came with a suitcase and didn't really get to think about um, what I was doing. When did you officially move here anyway? Literally TwitchCon. TwitchCon. So I came with just a suitcase prepared to go to a convention. And then they stopped me, and I was scared that I'd be barred. So I didn't leave. Pretty much. Um, but, um, open the borders, stop having them be closed. Sheesh, yeah. But I came here with every intention just to come for TwitchCon. But then, uh, the thought of, like, never being able to come to the States again, if for some reason they thought I was in that, I wasn't working, by the way. I was here completely legally, but I got really scared. So I was just like, I don't know. Um, did you ever get your stuff back from your place? No. Um, I had my dad ship me my PC. And then this past trip when I went to Canada was my first time actually going through my stuff uh, since I was gone. So I got, I just got a bunch of stuff just thrown out. It's so strange. It's like, yeah, everything here that is mine now that I consider mine is all stuff that I started fresh with here. So it's kind of like, it's interesting. Is streaming considered work? Yes. How, how would it not be? It's my, it's my job. I'm starting to think that Stromboli is a regional thing. No one ever talks about them. Stromboli? It's isn't it kind of like a like a hot pocket? Is it I think? Yeah, I got a visa. I don't think I could do that. I'm too attached to my stuff. Um, I thought I was too until it was kind of like you're here. Like I felt very attached to my stuff until it was like Think about when you're on a vacation, right? You don't sit on your vacation missing your stuff. So it just, eventually it's just an extended vacation. And then you're like, eventually you just kind of forget about it. Now when you see it again, you're like, oh, right. I forgot that any of this existed, you know? Thanks for being a good human and giving Way us Way more than a hot content. pocket. But that's what like you're it looks like, right? Keep I'm okay-ish. I'm okay-ish. Chicago skyscraper. I appreciate you. Thank you for 17 months. <laughs> I wonder if my air prior is okay when I'm on vacation, right? I miss my PC when I'm on holiday. Car too. Okay, PC is different. I did get them to send me my PC, but then I also got a new PC here. Um, out of sight, out of mind. Yep. Thought Stromboli was a calzone with different fillings. No, Stromboli is, is like tube shaped, isn't it? Red chicken and waffles. I have, I don't like it. Chicken. I don't like, I don't like the sweetened meat. And a lot of people do chicken and waffles like syrup. Ah, uh, I do not. Mm -mm. Stromboli is not a calzone. I know. I agree. Somebody said that and I was disagreeing. Do you have any pets? I, I do. You must be new here, house. Um, a stromboli is a sandwich, is it? Do you like sweet and sour, like sweet and sour sauce? Listen, do you know what's do you know what's weird to me that that a lot of people don't talk about? But in Canada, I've talked about this before on stream. In Canada, Chinese food, the staple. Okay, actually, let me let me test this. If you're Canadian in chat, what is the staple thing most people will order when they're ordering Chinese food? What are some of like the top things? 
Something that you'd have with sweet and sour sauce. The red sauce. Chicken balls. Yep, chicken balls. I see. Chicken balls is the biggest thing. And they don't fucking know what chicken balls are here. They're like, well, that's not Chinese food. Motherfucker, what you guys make isn't either. But chicken balls, a lot of people don't know what it is. It's literally just like a piece of chicken um, with a thick batter on it. And it's delicious. And you put the red sauce, like the sweet and sour sauce, all over it. So hold on. Uh, chicken balls. Chinese food. They're not always completely round, depending on where you go. But, uh, let me show you real quick. They're like these deep-fried little deliciousnesses. It's copying to my desktop, so I can put it over here. There we go. These are chicken balls. They're just like golden little balls. But sometimes, uh, depending on where you go, sometimes they won't be perfectly round. They'll look more like... like this. But it's literally just like a thicker batter on a chicken. A piece of chicken. They're really good. They're really good. That sweet and sour chicken here. They look like mini corn dogs. They kind of they kind of are pretty much mini corn dogs, but with a, a, like a piece of chicken on the inside. I've actually seen those. Yeah. They have those in Detroit. It's literally just like tempura chicken, you know? But yeah, chicken balls is like you order chicken balls. That's what it's called on the menu. Oh my god. I, I need to stop talking about food. I'm so fucking hungry. Um, but yeah, that's not a thing in the States. MSG is good. So many people talk about MSG and like how, oh no, that's not actually a thing. But bro, here, here's here's the problem, right? I like the flavor of Panda Express and like places like that. I like the flavor of it. But if I eat it, it I feel really heavy and I get a headache. Anytime I eat um, those types of foods, I just feel, I don't feel good afterwards. And, and everyone's like, oh, MSG, MSG. I'm like, but it's, it, it, but it is though. Panda doesn't have MSG though. Whatever. Places like that, it like makes me feel sick. It makes me feel like heavy. I don't know if it's just like how much oil is in it, but um, you might have an MSG allergy. Is that what it is? All I know is like, I like Chinese food. I would love ordering Chinese food, but um, when I eat it, I just feel like really heavy and uh, it gives me a headache. Biological racism. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I don't care if it's made. Okay. Uh, it could be because the food sits out longer than other places that it's fresh to order. I don't think that's it though. Um, it's like a Chinese food hangover. Yeah, super salty and carby. That could also be why. Um, I feel like an MSG allergy would fucking suck. Is there a, like, how much shit has MSG? MSG is a salt essentially. Super greasy is what it is. Yeah, yeah. We call that the meat sweats. Okay, the meat sweats are different. That's different. I literally had allergy testing because I felt so awful after eating every time. Turns out I'm basically allergic to everything. Oh no, Kate. That sucks. MSG is like omega salt. Oh really? Panda can fuck you up? Yeah. The amount of sodium in Chinese food can make you so dehydrated it makes you feel hungover. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just the amount of sodium. Um, but I know it's, I just know whatever it is, anytime I eat foods like Panda or Chinese food, any type of place like that, um, it feels heavy and then I get a headache. Everything salty, snacks, and fast food, meats mostly has MSG. Hmm. Because, but like, I can eat McDonald's and shit. I don't feel like that, you know? It's just like this different feeling. That I'm like, ugh. ugh. Panda hoist my tummy. Yeah, I feel that. Um, it adds an umami flavor, but it's over often overused. Monosodium glutamate, also known as sodium glutamate, is the sodium salt in glutamic acid msg is found naturally in some foods including tomatoes and cheese in its glutamic acid form well i could eat hella cheese actually if i eat too much cheese i will get a migraine i will say that um cheese is actually one of my triggers for migraines unfortunately same with alcohol but like not in the way that you guys think um like i actually had to go to a migraine specialist and they were like yeah cheese is one of your triggers um especially like really old strong cheese um, uh, coffee, which I don't really drink anyway, but, uh, coffee is another one. Caffeine in general, um, and alcohol are all triggers that they found that, uh, uh, trigger my migraines. I'm better now, but it used to be really bad with migraines. I get migraines when I get late, get lazy with hydrating. I'm really bad at drinking fluids. Stress is my trigger. Stress is also one of my triggers. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm too tense, too tense. I need to like, everyone just take a moment. Just drop your shoulders. Just... 
I hate that you have to deal with migraines. I have horrible migraines and meds were the only fix. I hope you don't have to deal with them anymore. I still deal with migraines, but um, here comes the ad. Uh, that's not actually an ad because I'm not sponsored by a medication company. But um, for the majority of my life, I was a huge migraine sufferer uh, to the point that um, I was getting migraines five days out of the week. And I thought I would never be able to hold um, any position anywhere um, because my migraines were uh, fucking me up so bad. Um, literally as soon as a migraine came on, essentially, I would know right then and there, the next three days, I'll either have to be in bed or be struggling to see and walk around. Um, so it was really bad. But, uh, a few years ago now, I finally went back to the doctor again. After trying, like, every medication under the sun for years, I gave up. I was like, there's no way, there's no cure. Nothing, they always say, oh, it eases the migraine, whatever, like, with, like, Advil and, like, uh, Tylenol 3s they had me on. But I'm like, it didn't get rid of the migraine, though. Um, but then I was introduced to Sumatriptan. I do want to say I L you long time lurker. Hey, Gallon Witch, I appreciate that. Uh, holy shit, Higher Fire was amazing. I'm glad that you liked it, Bobby. I appreciate you watching. Um, but, uh, Sumatriptan, if you are a migraine sufferer, I'm talking to you. Ask your doctor about Sumatriptan. It saved my life. It saved my life. I'm telling you right now, when I used to get a migraine, I literally would be like, okay, I'm out the next three days. And the problem is a lot of my migraines were stress-induced. So when I had something uh, that was coming up that was really important, I would get stressed because I didn't want to get a migraine. But then because of the stress, I would get a migraine. So it was like a really vicious cycle. Um, and it really fucking sucked. Um, so I use Excedrin and that works. Excedrin doesn't work for me either. Excedrin is not legal in Canada or they don't have it in Canada. So I remember when my mom came to the States to go shopping, she picked me up a bottle of Excedrin. And normally I take um, two Tylenol minimum uh, when, when I used to struggle with my migraines because they were so bad. And I took two Excedrin, not realizing that it's, uh, you're not supposed to do that. So I took two and it made me uh, extremely sick. And I had a uh, even worse, more severe migraine after that because I did not realize because I took them like Tylenol because that wasn't something that we had in Canada. Um, but yeah, Sumatriptan, if, if it's helped anyone... If anyone actually has gotten a prescription from Sumatriptan, reach out and let me know because, like, it makes my heart so full when I hear people that were uh, migraine sufferers. It's going to make me emotional. Um, I genuinely thought that my, my life was going to be over from my migraines. Um, people don't understand how uh, debilitating it is. My vertigo would be so bad I could barely walk. Uh, my, having my eyes open would be so painful that it would bring me to tears most days. Um, and at the time I was working full time and I was on my way to try to get a promotion. So, uh, I was still commuting two hours each way to work. And during my shift, I'd be running back and forth to the bathroom to throw up because I was so dizzy. Um, so it was really bad. I get ocular migraines. Yep. 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 So ocular migraines, um, I only have experienced a few times, um, when, um, I was trying uh, medication a while ago. Uh, ocular migraines was one of the side effects. So every single night for a week, I had an ocular migraine. And essentially, you go blind in one eye and uh, the other eye, it's like you can literally see the world like waving and it's like strobing. So it's like everything is like strobing and waving. Do you know when like you stare at something really bright? And then you close your eyes and you see like the images that are like in your vision like this. That's kind of like what a mi uh, uh, an ocular migraine is. And you can go like patches in your vision just completely blind. It's uh, the first time it happened. It was extremely terrifying. I thought I was dying. Um, but uh, no, it's an ocular migraine. When you figure out what it is, it's not as scary, but it does really suck. It does really suck. Um, I personally prefer ocular migraines because they're less painful because I find with, for me at least, usually when I get an ocular migraine, there's no pain involved with it for whatever reason, but it is scary. My mom suffers from this. Thank you. I was blessed to have clicked on you. Really? Yeah. I get them to, to, to talk about stupid trip, Dan. I can't even, I probably talked about this over a thousand streams, but every single time it gets me all choked up, especially when people are like, this will help me. I'm so emotional. I'm sorry. <clears throat> But uh, you guys have no idea, like migraine sufferers, especially because there's so many people in this world that will get a little headache and be like, I have a migraine. So when you tell your boss, hey, I have a migraine, they do not understand the severity of what you are telling them. People will just label it as, oh, you have a headache. No, bitch, I can't fucking see. I can't walk. I'm so dizzy that when I step, it feels like I'm doing a fucking somersault. And because of that, I feel like I'm going to vomit. The migraine, like a migraine is, I see I'm drooling in the bathtub. Um, 
Woo! Hey, Alex, I'm a pharmacist. I'm glad Sumatriptan works well with your, for you. There's a new class of drugs, drugs uh, available called CGRP inhibitors. They're both injectable or pills, and they work wonders for people who triptans don't work for. That's great to know, Beef, because I know that out of a lot of the people that I've talked to about uh, triptans, a couple people triptans don't work for. There is other options, but I found majority of people they do work for, but there is some people like Sizan and Chat where triptans do not work for them. Um, did you end up, what, what is it that you found that for works Alex for you, Sizan? Dead strawberry. Poggers. Yeah, strawberry. Um, injectables didn't work either. Have you found something that worked for you yet? I am Megan. They've been some months. My mom and brother suffer from migraines. I've seen how much it can affect people. And I feel for your homie. Shit looks like it's rough. It's bad. One sec, I forgot the name. I think it's Nurtech. Isn't it Nurtech that you use? I could be wrong. This is so weird that I know your medication. But we talk about migraines so often. <laughs> I want to say it's Nurtech. Nurtech, yeah. Because <laughs> isn't that the one that, like, Kim, uh, Khloe Kardashian promoted? <laughs> sounds pretty parasocial <laughs> oh my god um oh god uh only uh, legit only indica where weed works for me i used to i used to smoke um smoke weed and like stuff that was really uh, cbd heavy to help with my migraines here's the problem right um i would sit there and i would get so high to the point where it kind of dulled the pain but the problem is you'd have to constantly stay in that extremely high point and you couldn't stop smoking. Because you know as soon as it starts wearing off and you kind of feel a little like dehydrated after weed, that would make my migraine so much worse. So the days before I had medication, I would sit in my house and I would sit there and smoke bowl after bowl after bowl after bowl. And literally, I would do that until I could pass out and then I'd wake up and it'd be so bad and I'd smoke bowl after bowl after bowl after bowl until I fell asleep again. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Alex, thanks for bringing it hard. Booty, suck my dick. Okay, so are you referring... Uh, who are you asking to suck your dick? Because now I'm confused. <laughs> Present it. Uh, bowl after bowl after bowl. Yep. Gotta hydrate, homie. Yep, it's so true. Um, I wish weed was legal in Alabama. Shit sucks. That's fair. That's fair. I will not explain. Okay, okay. 50-50. 50-50. I like that. I like that. But thanks for having me. Uh, it was fun. Um, we'll have to meet. Are you guys coming down for uh, TwitchCon? If so, we'll have to meet up at some point. Um, I thought you were playing with a straw for the longest time. It's a pen. Oh, wait. This? Was I playing with something? Was it this? Oh, yeah. This is an Apple pen. Um, Apple pencil. So fun. Hell yeah. Uh, Apple pencil. I was just diagnosed with what? With migraines? We can call Yeb short. She is short. She's shorter than me. I had a realization yesterday when we were eating, before when I was leaving, I was like, whoa, Yeb is shorter than me. I don't know why, but I since I've been like one of the shortest in the group for a while, there's slowly more people coming in that are shorter than me. And I like forget, how tall are you? I'm 5'4". Why I look like the pen is modeled after a magic wand. Bro, what? What do you mean? It's just a just a pencil this is like <laughs> hello been a while midterms are murdering me oh i'm sorry about that just keep plugging through it'll be a thing of the past before you know it like russian dolls progressively getting smaller yep 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 five four is average for a woman isn't it i think so yep looks so tall in her stream so weird i don't see it it totally is i don't see it either i don't see it either Silver doesn't come across well on cam. This 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 is silver. You're tall to me. Well, I'll take that. Five four. I thought women were taller. They can they can be. They can be. Five five and the shortest in the family. Well, hey, yeah. Question mark. I don't know what's happening. Um. Never would have guessed streamers are always sitting. There's a lot of people that look taller than what they are. Like, before I met Charlie in real life, like, or saw him, I did not know that he was very short. Um, just from watching his videos, I had no idea. Did not know. Uh, I never thought you were tall, but I thought you were, like, 5'9". 
Five nine is tall. What do you mean? What? Also, some people are so much taller than I thought. Yeah. Well, he was taller than I thought he was when I first met him. And I said that and he goes, wow, really? I was like, I'm sorry. Uh, she's like, that was just mean. I was like, what do you mean? I just, you're very tall. That was like, what, 2018? I was like, wow, you're actually really tall. He goes, yeah, it's a it's a meme. Um, it makes it like 5'9". Wubby is not 5'8". I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Uh, bro, most of my female friends are over six feet. I don't think I know any friends that are over six feet. How old? How how tall is Ash? She's the tallest of us. She is the tallest of the women's. Missing more than one dose can make you feel brain zaps of what? On God, no cap, no kizzy. Tallest of the X tribe. Average height for a woman is 5'4". I am super average, you know, in everything I do, height included, <laughs> you know? I don't know why, but having this hair makes me feel like I could pull off, like, the stoner chick. Like, hey, guys, I'm just kind of vibing on stream today. We're going to smoke some bowls and do some dabs. It's going to be real fucking lit, you know? I'm 5'1", so everyone is six feet to me. Fair, fair. Nice job tonight. Thank you, Bobby. Appreciate it. Um... I'm so tall, people taller than me make me super uncomfortable because I'm not used to it. That's fair. That's fair. When there's a, when everybody's shorter than me, it does make me feel strange. Like I'm like I'm a giant. I don't like it. You'd make a good stoner streamer. Except for the problem is I wouldn't be a chill star. Like, yeah, we're just going to watch some videos today. It's going to be great. It's going to be like, oh, my God, I'm so high. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, my God, my brain is melting. Like the entire stream, which, you know, if you haven't already, go check out my YouTube. Check out uh, Interesting as Fuck. It's me just super fucking high looking at shit and melting my brain. We're here for it. <laughs> I laugh manually. Yep, yep. Do you ever think about how other people have thoughts? Bro, don't even get me started on that shit. I'm not high right now. I'm tall, and when I see people taller than me, I still can't help but be like, fuck you're tall, even though that shit drives me nuts. Fair. Fair. We get a new laugh every stream, though. That's, that's also true. Welcome to Existential Dread, the channel. No one other than me exists. You guys are all NPCs. Come on. You're a guest in my reality. Fucks me up. You're a guest in my reality. I know! I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that said it on stream. Didn't Wasn't that like in like a definition or something? Oh, you're just, you can just be a guest in somebody else's reality? Oh my god. You're like a side character. You're a background character, I think it said. You're a background actor in somebody else's story. It's like, what? Wait, what accents does, wait. What accent does the voice in your head have? The voice in my head sounds like how I speak. What accents does the voice in your head have? It, it just sounds like me. Very French. That sounds like a Black Mirror episode. Yep. Why do they not have more Black Mirror stuff out? Like... Do you like sushi? I just ordered some. Ooh, I do like sushi. And it is just rice and meat. I could maybe have some sushi. It's weird how you can never know how someone else thinks and perceives the world. I know! I know. No voice tells me things. I'm deaf... People can't hear what language do they think in. I'm If deaf, people can't hear what language do they think in. They would still have their internal monologue of their own voice. What they think they would sound like. Hmm. Interesting. But they think in speech? Whoa, we need to figure this out. Okay, hold on. Do you think we can find someone that's deaf? Do you think we can find someone that, that's deaf? If I go on Twitter right now? But if born deaf, they don't have an, an internal monologue. Some people don't even have an internal monologue. But how do you think? How do you think before you speak if you don't have an internal monologue? What do you mean? Like, when I'm thinking... They think it's sign. Hold on. Hold on.
I was gonna tweet out anyone on my timeline born deaf. I have a question for you, but I feel like that's not gonna work, and I feel like people might be offended. Let's see. If you're born deaf, what language do you think in? Oh my god, it's the first result. What? Deaf people think in terms of their inner voice. Some of them think in ASL. While others think in the vocal language they learned, with their brains coming up with how the vocal language sounds. Additionally, their thinking process is a little different from hearing people. Whoa. I wonder if it's an advantage or a disadvantage, um, thinking as somebody that's deaf. Like, I wonder if you process information more quickly or slow, like, like slower. I'm so curious. I'd never thought of that. What a born deaf. I'm assuming that the, the, the people that were born deaf, um, it literally said some people will literally, um, think in uh, American Sign Language, which is crazy. Is there no stuffy? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I imagine they process information at the same speed. I've just been talking a lot, so I'm losing my voice a little bit if you're wondering why I'm slowly going lower in pitch. I have never had an original thought. Same. Same. Did you sniff it? Yeah. I did. They say that knowing more languages is definitely advantage for thinking and lets you think in more ways and approach problems differently. Really? How? I feel like it'd be more confusing because your brain is trying to process which language to think in, no? Just watch the horror movie Hush where the lead is deaf and mute and had the, uh, and he has and had his same thought? What do you mean? Like they cover that in the movie? I had original thought, but it's sold so I could pay for the new and improved thought. That's fair. That's fair. You think Stephen Hawking voice in his head also robotic? Wait. I don't know. Dakota! Thank you. Thank you for buying something from the shop. Ben, are you here right now? Are you here right now? Is it still at scare alerts over $30? I feel like it's not based on that. Can you can you make it 30 minimum for a, a for scare alert? for the shop. Can you put it down to 30? Because we had it for 100 when it was uh, Rivals, right? Thank you. The ASL sign for pasteurized milk is just a sign for milk, but you move it past your eyes. Stop, you don't. Is that actually true? That's a real thing? No way. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, hold on. We're looking it up. ASL milk. Milk. This milk? Milk? Milk. Milk, okay. No shot. Pasteurized milk. No way. <laughs> no fucking way. It's just moving it across your eyes. That's so stupid. Milk. Pasteurized milk. What the fuck did you just call us? Pasteurized milk? Past your eyes, milk. That's so stupid. How does how does a rhyming pun even make it into ASL? My deaf friend told me that slang ASL for bullshit is making bullhorns with one hand, and then with your other hand, you s simulate shit exploding from the butt? Stop. ASL is wild. That's crazy. They can have jokes too, I know, but... Our letters aren't jokes. Like, we don't have A, B, C, D, and those are jokes. Like, most, like, names, like, letters, the way that you spell and write things aren't, like, a joke. Yo, tier three? Run runcibles? Spoons? Runcible spoons? You sound like somebody that um, I'd be accusing of murder and clue, doesn't it? 
Scare alert's back on for thirty dollars. If you spend over thirty dollars in the shop, it will now do a very loud scare alert. Love you, Alex. Cheers. Appreciate that, spoons. Thank you. Um, ASL uses facial expression to emphasize, so COVID hurts their communications a bit. Oh, whoa. That fucking sucks. I am British. How do you teach somebody that is born um, deaf and blind to communicate? How does that how does that work? Somebody that is deaf and blind, how do they communicate? Can they? Braille. Oh, true, true. Braille. I didn't even think. Of, very slowly. Helen Keller. Okay. Okay. What is watermelon jerky in ASL? I have no idea. Family of mine made special masks to help with that. They do exist. See, I'm assuming the clear ones. It's like an actual mask, but you can see through it. But I feel like there's they're definitely not as um uh uh efficient, effective as regular masks. You know, you getting high today? No, no, no. We started super late today because I was uh on uh, sandwiches stream for hired or fired. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm already zooted. So yeah, I figured I'd just go live just for a little bit, just come and hang out with you guys, just because I know that uh, with TwitchCon coming up, I'll probably miss a stream or two. Uh, I don't know when or where yet, but uh, I'll probably miss a stream or two, so I didn't want to fully miss today's stream. Um, without the stimulation of both sight and hearing, most deaf and blind at birth, people can't develop like healthy people. That's so sad. Blogging at TwitchCon? Fuck no. Fuck no. Because like I live here, you know? Um, what's the best sandwich? Ooh, bologna sandwich. Oh, I want a bologna sandwich so bad. Bologna sandwiches are so good. I can't tell if I like bologna sandwiches butter better with butter or with mayo. Because I used to always do it with butter and then a slice of cheese and then bologna, just like on a sandwich. Butter both sides, obviously. But then I tried it with mayo once. I was like, oh, this is pretty fucking good too. So they're both pretty good. Don't get to grill the bread. No. Nope. Mm -mm. nope. Nope. I do not like hot sandwiches. I do not like cooked sandwiches. Um, in the sense that, like, I like, like, meatball subs and stuff like that. Things that are, like, meant to be that way. But if I go to Subway, I fucking hate cold cuts and that when they, when they, um, toast it. I, the, the meat sweats. I don't like sweaty meat. It's gross. I don't like it. But I'll have, like, a grilled cheese. But I don't like sweaty meats. I like toast. I like grilled cheese. I like, you know, uh, meatball subs, pizza subs, things that should be toasted, but like regular normal sandwich meats on a sub do not need to be toasted. I don't get it. I don't like sweaty meat. They like get, they're just gross to me. They're so gross to me. Subway cold cuts are nasty. They're so wrong. They're so fucking good. That shit was always slimy. Probably because you got it toasted, bro. Have you ever had rag bologna? No, I don't know what that is. Dance Eric Dance! Thank you for the 41 months. I appreciate months. it. One for every. Thoughts on pimento loaf? Pimento loaf is the one with the macaroni in it, right? Pimento. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. I can't remember. Subway is better than Jimmy John's. Depends on where you are, honestly. It's a cheese spread? What? Meat with green olives in it. Oh. Oh, is that what it is? Why did I think it was macaroni pizzas? What's the one that has um macaroni pizza? Oh, mortadella. Is that what it is? Mortadella meat? Fried ham and cheese sandwich with fried egg and garlic powder is amazing. That does sound good. Yeah. Quick, give a food take. Bro, I have so many food takes that you guys would absolutely despise. Um, it's an olive cheese. Interesting. I do like olives. Bologna is bottom tier? Beef, you're stupid. Beef, you're stupid. I'm sorry. Bologna is so good. I hard disagree. I cannot stand the meatloaves with the olives or macaroni. Bleh. They're just like fine. I'd have to have it. I I'm pretty sure they taste good. But I haven't eaten mortadella or any of those in a very long time. Bologna is mid? You're fucking mid, bro. You're fucking mid. I can't do it, man. I don't know what to say. Oh, bologna makes me gag. Oh, y'all are so stupid. Oh, bologna is so good. 
Do you know what's one meat that I fucking hated for the longest time because I thought it was just like a joke food? Spam. Growing up, I'm like, ew, fucking meat in a can. That's so fucking nasty. There's no way that anyone ever buys that. I don't understand how people are still putting them in stores. I did not understand it. Got the JavaScript. Thank you for the tier one or uh, the prime. Appreciate you. Um, and then when I moved here, Wubby was like, oh, I'm going to get some spam. I was like, haha, okay, but what are you really going to eat? He goes, spam. I'm like, you're joking. That's like a mystery, disgusting meat. Like, what do you mean? He goes, it's actually delicious. I was like, no, it's fucking not. That's so nasty. He's like, did you have you even tried it? I was like, no. Like, is that so gross to me? And then he fried up some spam. And oh my God. I saw God that day. Oh my God. These just salty little, mm, exploding with flavor, just little cubes of just raining down from the gods. I swear to God, I heard the angels singing. It was so fucking good. Spam is so good. Especially like in in a in a stir fry or something it was really good um spam was gross but like baloney help me make some sense of this have you seen spam spam is like squished brick of meat in a tin what do you mean i like put it in the same category as like anchovies looks fucking nasty does not even get it's not even a cold aisle it's not even chilled it's just sitting on a shelf in the grocery store Bologna and mustard sandwiches is a shit. I do also like bologna and mustard sandwiches, I will say. How long did it take him to convince you? Um, Pretty much when I tried it. I, pretty much he's like, just try it. And I tried it, I was like... Hold up. Hmm. Um, what we doesn't even like beans from cans? He, can he even be trusted? I'm not big on beans in general. I fucking hate most beans, but I do like beans in a can with molasses. Like the regular beans that you put with like wieners, like beans and wieners. I grew up on that shit. I like beans and weenies. I don't have them now, but um, question mark? Why? Why are we getting question marks? What is uh, beans and wieners? Beans. Ah, fuck. You spend over thirty dollars on the shop. It scares the shit out of me. Just in case you didn't know. Yeah. Mm, that fucking got me. Fuck off. <laughs> ah! <laughs> God damn. Sheesh, have you ever been to Nova Scotia? I haven't. Have you ever been to Nova Scotia? I have not. My mom, her fam is from there. Mm. And I have yet to find a friendlier group of humans in Fair. the world. Bean churin. Bean, bean churin. Um, most people tell me that Nova Scotians are uh, similar to uh, Newfies. And any of anybody that I've ever met in Newfoundland is like the kindest alcoholic you'll ever meet in your life. Just so fucking nice. And we're not friendly? No. I'm a Newfie. I have a lot of Newfie family. Technically, I'm a Newfie. Um, that's so true. I'm from Nova Scotia, bud. Yeah, bye. Hold yep, on. sounds like the Newfies I know. Yeah. We're not alcoholics. We just really like beer. Okay. 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 Mm. They have the weirdest accent. Oh, Towtons. Towtons. If, you if you've never tried it, it's literally just dough fried in a pan with jam on it. It's so fucking good. It's a, a Newfie thing. You ever tried mead? I have not. That's like the, 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 the like medieval beer. Mead, right? Is that not? Good corn beefs, beefs, good corn beef beats spam. Does it? It's a honey wine? Oh, is that what it is? I didn't know that's what meat is. Not really, it's a honey wine. Wow. See, when I think meat, I think, yeah, get the meat. And then it's like, you know, in a DND &D campaign with like a big wooden cup of it, you know? The ale. Um, you can get it at Total Wine. It's really good. Interesting. Mead fucks you up. Well, so does wine, so that makes sense. It could be like, like a wine or like a beer. It depends on how it's made. Hmm. What's more common? The wine, I assume? Mead fucks you up. Yeah, why does wine fuck you up so much when it doesn't have a high percentage? Is it because it dehydrates you as you drink it? What the fuck is it about wine that you have a couple glasses and you're like, I am fucked up, but it's like 14 to 21%. And I feel more fucked up than if I have a couple of cocktails with like a 40% alcohol in it. What's up with that? What's up with the airplanes? Am I right, guys? Spam in a panzo? That sounds good. 
Fuck, y'all are making me so hungry. This is gonna be so hard to eat, not terrible after this. It's the tannins. No clue, really. Tannins give me, the, the, the reason why I can't drink wine is because tannins give me migraines. Um, wine is one of my triggers. Yay, a migraine gang, yay, you know? Get some sushi, maybe I'll get sushi because it's something different than like just cooked meat and rice. Cocktails with 40% liquor typically have similar ABV to wine. Well, ugh. yeah. Yes, sushi. I just don't like, uh, I don't like fish. So normally when I get sushi, I normally get crispy shrimp with, um, um, uh, what's it called? Spicy mayo. Okay, no, I can't, I can't get sushi because I don't like sushi on its own. I need to dip it in a bunch of spicy mayo and that's just not good. Can never go and whine about it. I can go and whine about it if I wanted to. I can whine. I can pretend drink. I could take a migraine med afterwards, you know? Spicy mayo is so good. It's so fucking good. Do they have a no tan in wine? I don't know. Honestly, I've never looked into it. You have a time machine? I wasn't gonna say it. Huh. I will say, my other friend, Maya. Maya Danny, you guys know her. Um, she has a emote that I saw spammed in chat today and I did not know it was hers. It's uh, Maya, but she's very high. And if you look at it really quick, I just thought it said Maya Higa. I was like, why does Maya have a Maya Higa um, emote? And I was like, what a weird. <laughs> but today was my first time that I saw it. I was like, what the fuck? Does white wine have tannins too? I believe it's all wines. I had sushi today for my anniversary. Try to cook steak roll with sweet wasabi sauce. Oh, straight fire straight fire bro here's the thing i have to eat good until twitchcon because i know during quick twitchcon i'm gonna be seeing so many people i'm gonna be going to like so many mixers things and seeing people that i haven't seen in a while um so obviously you're gonna save all your calories for that like come on it's gonna be delicious i'm excited that's a booty cbc booty literally booty true true is there steak and sushi people can have steak and sushi i'm not a big fan of it um but the, the Korean barbecue place here, they do um, a uh, Wagyu sushi. But it's literally just a piece of Wagyu on a little thing of rice. Um, I have like, I have like two level four sommelier, sommelier, sommelier friends. I can ask about wines and shit. They just order stuff in my name at, at BevMo or Total Wine. And I just pick it up. Never gone wrong so far. Listen, for the longest time, I thought I was a super taster. I thought I was a super taster. Um, it's like a sommelier, but for food. Do you want to see something really funny? I was going to bring that up today in my hired or fired, um, interview because I thought it was funny. And if it was some kind of disgusting job, I thought talking about how you can taste really well would be funny. So, um, I literally have a note here that's a super taster and it, with the, the pronunciation of, uh, sommelier. So that's how I knew how to pronounce that. Weirdly enough. Full circle. For full circle. I stink. <laughs> but actually, though, I used to think that I was a super taster. Because I could pick out ingredients from things. Um, but then I stopped trying. But, like, when I was younger, I'd be like, that has um this and this and um this. My problem is I didn't know enough ingredients to be able to label them all. You know what I mean? S Somalia, eh? Somalia, eh? Being a super taster is not a fun thing. Yeah, a lot of people that are super tasters. I was looking this up, actually. Um, dislike the taste of a lot of, um, foods because they're too strong. Um, sommelier. Isn't it sommelier? 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 Well, anyways. Anyways. Hi, Alex. Hello. Boogsters? Oogsters? Ooga booga? Um, Somalia. Officially, the Federal Republic of Somalia is the country in the Horn of Africa. Okay. Okay. Kenya's in the Horn of Africa. I know that. When I was a very young child, I had a um, classmate move to Kenya. So we learned on the map where that was exactly. It's like right under the horn. Um, that's the only place I could tell you where it is in Africa. The more you know, you know? Onions are real rough as a super taster. Shit gets way too strong. Fair, 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 fair. Um, spicy things are I'm really bad with. It's just so spicy. I can't handle it. Mm, onions. 
See, here's the thing, right? Onions are extremely strong to me, um, and they hurt my eyes. But I like the extremely strong flavor they give. Like me with pickles, every time I take a bite, I'm like, oh, I'm like suffering through it. It's like, oh, I'm like, oh, that was good. It's like a punch in the face. That's why I like Caesars, too. It just feels like a punch in the face. Same girl, but I'm sitting there still eating it, you know? I have a co-worker named Kenya. She has no capital. Okay. Me with lime, same. Pickle juice, heart. If you like food competition shows, you can check out Anime Food Wars. Sheesh. Don't forget, I'm going to be doing live show on the Glitch um, stage at TwitchCon this upcoming Saturday. A week from today, I will be live on stage doing um, 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 a, a food beast a food competition thing. Um, so make sure to come and bring a sign or I will cry. I believe it starts uh, at 1130, I want to say, and it goes for about two hours. Can you watch it online? I'm assuming so. I'm assuming either the Food Beast channel will be playing it or uh, the Twitch channel will be playing it. I'm not sure, but I know that you can catch it in person uh, as well. Um, hi, I'm here to eat crow. I've been pronouncing sommelier wrong this whole time. Yep, there you go. There you go. I looked it up. You're right. Thank you. Okay, see, I only know that again. The post-it note, sommelier. <laughs> when I read it, I thought it was sommelier or some some sommelier or something. I thought there was a little bit more in there, but I wrote it down. It's on. It's on. Listen, I have little notes for myself, um, and it just says, "Hi, I'm Alex. I am redacted years old, um, emotionally unstable. I cry a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't know if that's re relevant." But I thought you should know. Maybe it's an asset. I have different post-it notes on um, my monitor that says things like this. Isn't it something like sommelier? Yeah, sommelier. 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 You get to meet Spawn on Me, who's a pretty cool guy at the cooking thing. Oh, hell yeah. Smellier. I'm bringing a sign, but it's for Forsen. Well, fuck you. Didn't ask. I was also love your new dyed hair. Purple is my favorite color. I'm gay. I'm gay. I love purple. I'm gay. Yeah, chat, pick the purple. I was really nervous about the purple, and I did um, want it to be more of a pink purple, and then my hair just was like, no, just do this purple. Trust me, it'll look good. And then I did. I was like, okay, I do like this purple. It's, yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, take Dream's mask as a trophy when you win. I'm assuming he's not bringing the mask, since he's going to be, you know, face revealing this week. Oui, je suis... We, je suis. I'm deaf, gay, and stand purple. Hell yeah. Did you, your class keep in contact with the students after they moved to Kenya? Would have been cool if you sent them a letter. I can't remember, honestly. I cannot remember. I want to say his name was Devin. Or was it Ken? No, I'm thinking Kenya. It was, I'm pretty sure it was Devin. I had a huge crush on him. I had like a mega crush. Like a child crush, you know? I want to say this was like grade three. I want to say his name was Devin. Deep memory in French class. We wrote letters to a French student. I think that we, I did that in French class too. I got some fermented hot sauce and pickles from a farmer, farmer's market last week. And it was life changing. Never had it before. What? Is, I don't even know how I feel about that. I can't remember if we ever talked to him again. His name was Devin. What do you, I, what do you mean? What's wrong with that? Deep memory in French class. We wrote letters. Yeah. Deaf, gay. Je suis, je suis, omelette du fromage. Au revoir, comme ci, comme ça, you know? All that. All Tabasco is fermented for five years. That's crazy. Oui, je suis, oui, je suis, oui, je suis, oui, je suis, oui, oui. No, omelette du fromage. Asexual pride. Asexual pride. Let's go. Is that purple? Isn't it? What's purple? Purple, gray, and black. Is that asexual? No. No. Bon. Cream fridge. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Ce soir. That's how much French every person knows. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? As a fellow Canadian, did you learn French from the Talking Pineapple? Not only did I learn from the Talking Pineapple, 
we did talk about the talking pineapple, and I have showed it on stream. Um, what the fuck's his name? Da na na. Uh, fucking French. Da uh, fuck. What's his name? What's his name? I'm just. Oh, Tele Francais! Tele Francais! Tele Francais! Tele Francais! Yes! Je suis una nana! That's what it is. That's what it is. I looked it up on my own before looking at chat. I could have just looked at you guys. Hell yeah. La anana. Yep, but I was in French immersion class um, until uh, grade six. So I, I, I learned in both French and English for a long time. Black stripe represents asexuality, the gray stripe, the gray area between sexual and asexual, and the white stripe, sexuality, and the purple stripe, community. Am I right then? Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Tell les Français. Tell les Français. Have you seen Muzzy for American kids to learn French? No. What the heck is Muzzy? Oh, what the heck is Muzzy? Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Do you guys know Muzzy? I love Muzzy. So y'all had Muzzy. I can't even, honestly, I can't sit here and and say that he's scary because, um, have you seen Danana from Telefrance? Hold on, hold on. It's not letting me add it. Hold on. Image. He's pretty scary, uh, as well. Um. Okay, I think maybe ours was a little scarier. I, I will, I will say Danana. <laughs> was kind of scary um he was not cg no he was a straight up um oh yeah he was kind of scary yeah he's pretty scary yeah he's pretty fucking cursed he was a little puppet man yeah muzzy was warming and wholesome yeah i think Danana was a criminal i feel like i vividly remember him breaking into places or running from the authorities? I don't know. What the fuck did Danana do? Anyone know what I'm talking about? He looks like a criminal. Yeah, he looks kind of scary. He broke into places of deep French. I feel like that's what it was. But I don't know. Crime. I don't know. Muzzy eats clocks. No. Watch him hit... Watch him a bunch. I'm German. The one I thought was a really old animation. That's not 2000s tech. Is this like... Is this the money you, Muzzy you guys remember though? He broke in... While people slept and stood over them to teach them French. Yes. Yes. These mascots are creeping Alex, me out. You're showing the CG Muzzy, not out. the good one? Alex, yikes. Wait, what? I'm not set up to play a video, but let me find the not CG one. What year? What year am I looking at? What year am I looking for? Oh, here it is. I think I found him. Is it just like a drawn, weird looking guy? Is it this guy? <laughs> is it this guy? Oh. Is that him? I hate him. What the fuck? I hate it. There we go. Okay, so this is Muzzy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that it's he's okay. Yeah, he looks like a cryptid. Honestly, he looks like he'd be on a MetaZoo card to be totally honest. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, I didn't know that you guys. Um, Je suis la jeune fille. I am a young girl. Why is that what Muzzy's saying? Muzzy is very clearly not a young girl. That makes me uncomfy. Yeah. 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 He should 100% be on a MetaZoo card. Yeah. Muzzy coming to MetaZoo. Confirmed. Oh my god, the flashbacks. No, those kids aren't French. They're American. What do you mean? It's the girl in the commercial? Oh. He ate the young girl? What do you mean? I hate that, Muzzy Zoo. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't really have content for you guys tonight, so I just figured I'd come and talk and chill because I didn't want to miss stream fully. I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching a, you know, hired fired where I clearly won. Ah, um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys tonight. I'm tired. I need to eat. We were giggling the whole time. Good. Good. I like that. Uh, let me find someone to raid. Teletubby oil painting. Oh, that's interesting. This person's like really arting it up. Let's see. This is pretty cool. Have we raided this person before? KT Bop? I can't tell. They're doing a Teletubby oil painting. It's really well done. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. I'm gonna eat some food and chill, and I'll be back here on Monday, uh, normal time, as far as I'm aware. By the way, the stickers I ordered are dope. I'm so glad you enjoy them. Um, don't forget, go buy shit on the shop. It keeps my two friends employed. Um, Sci-Fi also, but she gets paid no matter what. Whereas when you guys buy stuff, that's how Maya and Ash get hours. If there's no orders that come in, then they get no hours and they get no money. Whereas uh, Sci-Fi just gets paid no matter what. Because she does behind the scenes stuff. Because um, she does like Instagram posts and stuff. So no matter what, she's always got work to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I hope you guys had fun. This I'm so sweaty. Um, but yeah, thanks for, for hanging out. And um, yeah. I'll see you on Monday. Okay. 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 Bye.